All Blue Masters. YouTube, back with another video. In this video, we're gonna discuss some of these myths you've been researching and finding out on the internet. You might be thinking about getting a Bull Mastiff and after doing some research, you shy away and realize the Bull Mastiff is not for you. It just might not be for you. But we're gonna go over in the detail because some of those might not be true. Some of them are just opinions, so stay tuned. You too, I'm back. Now let's get into some of these myths that you've been hearing about on the internet. Myth one, the Bull Mastiff drools all over your house. That could not be further from the truth. Now, the bull masters do slobber a lot and they do drool, you know what I'm saying? So that that's that part is true. But bull masters also come in different sizes and different shapes. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna give you an example. This bull master right here you see on the screen, you see how his face is all wrinkled up and, and his, he has like a big head and he's 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 wrinkled up all in the mouth and all in the in the chin and he slobbers more than this bull massive that I'm gonna put on the screen, which is a female. And she doesn't slobber at all. Most of the time when bull massive slobber is usually around when you feed them or they get excited or you get ready to take them for a walk or, or something to that nature. I got three bull massive and one puppy and they don't just drool all over the house. You know what I'm saying? Like when I feed my bull mastiffs, I take them outside to feed them because they do drool a lot. If you walk a bull massive a long ways when they start panning and stuff like that, they drool a lot. But my female, again, right here on the screen, she doesn't drool at all. And let me show you another female that doesn't drool. Bing! She doesn't drool at all either. That's three dogs I've shown you. One of them drools a lot, and two of them don't drool, and two don't drool at all. So that's myth one. The bull master just drools all over your house. Because I've seen some uh, some people on the internet saying they just drool all over your house, and, and, and that's just not true. It's it, it just not true. They do drool, they do slobber, but they don't just drool all over your house. If, when you have bull masters, you gotta know what type of breed you have. And you gotta be a mature and act accordingly so that you can accommodate and, you know what I mean? You can you can take care of that. So like I said, when I feed my bull master, I feed them outside. They live in the house, but when I feed them, I feed them outside. When they drink water, they slobber a lot. So you just make sure you you, you got a rag or something to clean them, their, their mouths up. But they don't just slobber all over the house. That's myth one. So if you was thinking about getting a bull master and you was like, oh, but I can't handle the slobber and the drool, don't, that's, that should be at least of your concerns. Don't even worry about that. That's myth one. All right, now let's get into myth number two. You can't get a bull massive if you're an outgoing person and you go camping and hiking and jogging and walking and you do a lot of exercise. That cannot be further from the truth. Our bull massive go camping with us all the time. We take our bull massive on runs, hikes, all that stuff. Now, the bull massive is not a bloodhound. So no, he can't run 10 miles and, you know, he, he, he wasn't designed for that. But can he do it? Yes. When, when you have a bull massive or any dog for that nature, it depends on what type of shape they're in. You can't just narrow down the bull massive and say, oh, he can't do this. Now, I will tell you this. The bull massive is perfectly comfortable sitting at home on the rug, laid down, sleep. You know what I mean? Let's just, let's be honest. But it's not that they can't do it. It's just they wasn't designed to do it. So that's myth too. If, you, if you're a person that likes to go hiking or you like to go camping or fishing or on little jogs, and you thinking about getting a bull mastiff, go ahead and get a bull mastiff because they, they can do that. But just know, don't let your bull mastiff get fully grown. He 160 pounds. Now you decide you want to go run five miles. Don't, don't do that. You know what I mean? Let's, let's, let's be smart about it. But if you have a bull mastiff and you jog a lot, you can take your bull mastiff on a jog. You can take him hiking, fishing. You know what I mean? You can do all that. So that's myth two. Now let's get into myth three. But before we do, if you like this channel and you like the information I'm providing, just go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Now let's get into this final myth that I've been hearing about that's just not true. And it's the most important myth out of all three. The Bull Mastiff is not for first time owners. Oh my God. The Bull Mastiff is the perfect breed for first time owners. And let me tell you why. The Bull Mastiff has a great temperament. They don't need this stern leader like I keep hearing about. Now, 
if you go get a bull master from a breeder who has bred this dog and now they're rehoming, rehoming him or rehoming her, well, of course they might not abide by your rules like they did the first owner because you got a fully grown, he's all, he already set in his ways. If you're a first time owner, you're thinking about getting a bull mastiff, I'm gonna tell you what you should do. Do your research on the bull mastiff, get them from a nice breeder, you know what I mean, that, that breeds dogs, that have good temperament dogs. Make sure he's a, a pure bull mastiff. Bull mastiffs come in AKC, which is American Kennel Club, if you didn't know. You know what I mean? Get him as a puppy. Most uh, breed, breeders let you get the puppy at eight weeks. Some a little earlier, but usually, usually it's around eight weeks. Bring your puppy home and start training him as a puppy. And you don't need no expensive class to do this. You can train a bull mastiff in most breeds with a firm no. No. You don't have to hit him. You don't have to do none of that. Well, firm, no, I'll get the job done. If you do that over a consistent basis as they're growing up, they will listen to you. You know what I mean? They, they will listen to you. You don't have to go get special training or nothing like that. And let me tell you another reason a Bull Massive is a good, uh, good dog for first-time owners. Bull Massive is an instinctive dog. So you don't have to teach your dog. If you get a dog, if you get a Bull Massive to protect your family and protect your, ho your house, they're instinctive. So you don't have to take them to a training class to, to, to instill that in them. You know what I mean? When your bull mastiff comes home, they already know that this is home and they will protect your house. I guarantee you. I've had bull mastiffs way in the past and I have three bull mastiffs now. And, and I've never had no issues with some of the things I've been hearing on the internet. Never. Now, I've given you three myths about the bull mastiff that in my opinion are just not true. Now, I'm going to do a full breakdown of why you should get a bull massive in a different video. But just to end this video, I'm going to give you a small gem. Those of you who watch my channel or you seen some videos on my channel, you all know I refer to the bull massive as a bed in a bag. And I'm going to tell you why. If you want to redecorate your bedroom, and you want to get new sheets and comforters and pillows and stuff like that, and you want to just redo everything, you go to Walmart. You want to go over here, you get pillowcases. Then you go over here, you get sheets. Oh, I'm going to go get a comforter. Now I'm going to match this comforter with those sheets. You don't got to do none of that. You can go to Walmart and buy one package. It all come in there. It's a bed in a bag. That's what the bull massive is. You don't have to get this dog for protection and then get that dog for loyalty. Or I'm going to get me a little Yorkie or something. for No. The bull massive is all in one. It's a bed in a bag. You get loyalty. You get protection. You get a companion. They're good with your kids. All in one dog. Subscribe to the channel. To the next one.